Hello, my name's Matt. And my name's Jordan. And welcome back to the Beginner's Guide to Redstone. Um, <laughs> Jordan's here. I'm here. Yeah. This is the T flip flop that we did the other day where if, you, if Jordan presses the button, I always. Then it, opens, to it toggles well. it and he presses it again. It toggles it off. So I thought there's not much else, there's not much point showing other basic stuff because they're just a ton of logic gates. They're boring. They're not really that interesting. So I thought I'd go straight into this with a T flip flop thing with more than one. And basically, if let's start with this. How about this? Get with the button, place the lever. I'll pull the lever. Oh yeah. So yeah, that toggles it. But then when you <clears> turn the lever off, it doesn't do anything, yeah. Yeah. So it only toggles when that turns on, not when it turns. All oh, right, sweet. Yeah. So yep. that's sort of why, sort of how this next bit works. So if we copy that, if we say this is the input, we're gonna put a button back on it again, yeah. Uh huh. And then that goes into two blocks like that and like that, with a repeater in the middle with a bit of a delay. Torch one side, torch the other side, wire them up. Um, oh, and then the sticky piston. Hang on a sec. Stickity stick stick. <laughs> if we put that there. In fact, Lock. there and then then a piston. Then a. How come? Block. How come you've done that? Because I can just have it. I don't want to have like in on this design. See how I've put the torch in the floor. Like if I, oh, if I move yeah. it out of the way, it's underneath the floor like that. Yeah. What I'm, good, what I'm doing with this one is I'm just putting the torch there instead, then the repeat, and then that'll just work the same as well. See? Oh, when there's a block there, anyway. No. There, we <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that, that works the oh, same yeah. Yeah. Now what we're going to do is this, in fact, I'm going to turn that off. What that's going to do is that's going to be the input for another... So input. these two are always on? Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. That's just to let the signal come through. It's basically the same as having the torch in the floor. This is going to be the input for the next T flip flop. So if this is the input here, that's that block, which is that one. In fact, I need to bring that over a bit more. Block, block. In fact, I'll have to go so you're building the same thing again? Pretty much, yeah. So that feeds uh -huh. into the next one. In fact, let's just condense it since I can now. No, I can't. No, I'll leave it there. Okay, God. so <laughs> we'll do that. Torch that side. Torch that side. We'll wire that up. Yeah, and then that can be the next output. But we'll keep this output out here, yeah? And then we'll bring this output out there as well. Okay. Like that. So now if we press the button, if we go all the way back here. So if you want to put... No, hang on. So that's not done. I forgot the piston again. <laughs> the most important bit. The most, the only the bit most important through. bit. That's, Where's yeah. the button now? Okay, do you want me to press the button now? Not yet. Hang on a sec. So we'll bring that out there. Okay, go for it. Boom. Okay, press it again. Oh shit! I went. Away. <laughs> so it does one and then the next. Okay, so the, see how they're both they're both off at the moment, yeah. Yep. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. In fact, no, we won't. We'll put that there and that there. That's way better. Now, if I put, wow. if I get a sign, now you can out, see it. Do you want me to press the button again? What I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a number. I'm just going to say that's one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say this one's two. Okay. Okay. Press the button now. Oh, hang on a sec. <laughs> I think it's well, been more delayed. Oh, more delay. Oh, hang on a sec. Press it again. Beep. The second one didn't even turn off that time, did it? No, it didn't. No, hang on a sec. It's probably because I fucked around with those. Okay, try now. Beep. There we go. Okay, so I know what's happening. What we need to do is for these two outputs here, this output goes to the next T flip flop, yeah? This fairly simple yep. redstone to there. I see that, but for yeah. these two, what we're going to do is we're going to put a not gate in instead. So that's go Oops, that's going to be on like that, yeah? So it just inverts it. Okay. And we're going to put one here as well. So that's inverted now. There we go. So what if we were to count these numbers with the ones that are on? The 1 is on, yeah? Yep. But the 2 isn't, so it's, it's saying 1 at the moment, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, so if I press this button, press it it's going to turn off. I hope so. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Now it says 2. Now press turn it again. off 1 and put on 2. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And now it's reading 3. 1 plus 2. Yeah, 3. Yeah. Yep. Now, if we get rid of these, I'll press it again. I was going to say, on the next press, does it go back to one? I hope so. There we go, so yeah. Oh, zero. Zero. Yeah. And if I press it again, it'll go to one. Yeah, but don't press it just yet. What we'll do is we'll put on another T flip flop. Now, how, 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 how many times does that go over four? I just want to keep it like in line. So yeah, there. Okay, so block, yeah. Now, that was on, yeah. Um, I keep losing all the blocks. It's freezing, Jesus Christ. Is it? Oh, I'm quite warm. We've got the heating on over here, God. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, this was on. Yeah. This would have this would have blipped, and this would have turned on. Now I'm going to give this a value of four. 
No, I was going to do... Oh, way It's got to be three, doesn't it? Because the next one, last one was two. No, what it actually does is it's not it's not going up by one. It's doubling each time. So that's one. This is two. That's oh. four. The next one will be eight, then 16, then 32. Now, what this is, is this is actually... Oh, right. So it's an actual Yeah, this, this is a binary number. Yeah, you've done computing right, okay. girls, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. This, that's this, why... I... That's what these are. Because you don't need a number for three, because three can be represented as two plus yeah. one. I yeah. get it, yeah. Then it'll go to four. So if you Oh, want... this brings me back. Yeah, oh, <laughs> so the joyous days of computing, which is the worst. When I thought it was good at the very beginning, and when I actually, like, understood it, but wanted to understand it. Yeah, yeah. So go on, if you press it now. Got Beep. one. Press it again. Two. Two. And if you press it again. Three. Three. Four. Four. Press it again. Five. Press it again. Six. Six. Zero. Seven. Oh, seven. And then zero. <laughs> and then it'll go to zero. Now, I think that's pretty cool, really. The fact that yep. you can get a button and then to cycle through numbers in binary is it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, of course, a lot. this is one of the things in Redstone that doesn't actually have many practical purposes. It's just one of those things that makes you go, huh. But yeah. it's like a big one of these is how I like first learned Redstone. Hold on, did it go like, up to 128 or 256? A bit. It's seven of these, isn't it? So it's 1, 2, 4... 8, 16, 8, 16 64, 64 128. 128, yeah, and then if you add them all, we get 255. We yeah. missed 32 out of that, but Did we? Yeah, yeah, 255, yeah. yeah, 255 combinations, which is one bit of computer memory. Yeah. And this is sort of like the redstone way to simulate counting. In ca like there is There are ways of doing like calculators with two of these, yeah, and each of them have its own binary number, like we've got one at the moment. And then yep. there's a way of resting and adding them together. I've not really looked into it because I didn't really see the point. But you know. I'm pretty sure you did make a calculator ages and ages ago. Though. It wasn't a calculator. What it was, it was using one of these, and then it was a screen showing, like, this would show numbers up to seven. So what I could do is, say, I'd set up one of these, like this. In fact, there is actually the very first Redstone 101 episode is one of these, which is a segmented display. But that was back when I had a dirt computer and a dirt mic, you know. Back yeah. in the old days of crappy pod crash. So, I remember so, the, uh, I remember that mic that you had. Yeah, it was awful. I bought it as well. Yeah. It, it served me okay. Yeah, it's not ideal, is it? So I'm thinking maybe in like yeah. the next episode of this, just to go over this and show how to convert a binary number like this into actually being able to see a number on here, because that be, it's pretty cool. Really. It is cool. And then people would know how to do it. But I think this is just enough for one day. It's basically all it is is a T flip flop, and its output goes into another T flip flop. And this output goes into another T flip flop, and as many as you want. However, if you want to have numbers, binary numbers, when it comes out, the um, output that goes to the, this has to have a not gate. It has to be inverted. Because if we don't, <coughs> if we just do this... They're always going to be on. No. And then when you, I no, press the button, it'll turn off. If you press it now, so it's on 7 at the moment. 6. Press oh, it again. Counts down. 5. Yeah. Or you can think of it as, don't press it again. Count the ones that are off. So 1 and 2. Yeah. Press yep. it again. Then it'll go to well, that's th three. Well, it goes to three, yeah. Then it goes to four. And now it's four. If you class that as four. Shit, I clicked the button or a fucking left click. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so... You see how it works. Yeah. Basically, yeah. It's pretty cool. But that's basically it. So I think we'll leave it there, George. Do you got anything else to say? <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, guys.